thing is you, you, you put the cat in the box and you have a radioactive substance which has a 50% chance of decaying within an hour. If it decays, it triggers the Geiger counter and the Geiger counter uh, breaks a, a, a glass bottle of cyanide and the cat dies. So there's a 50% chance, if you know, the box is closed, 50% chance the cat is alive or dead at the end of an hour. I don't think so, that PETA would approve this no, experiment. No, no. You, you're allowed all possible solutions. So you have a live cat, you have a dead cat. You have 50% alive cat, 50% dead cat, 99% alive cat, 1% dead cat. You have all possibilities, which, which, which doesn't make sense. It seems to be a paradox, seems to be crazy. When you open the box, you only see one outcome, a live cat or a dead cat. So there are various like half-baked um, accounts of how this could happen. One half-baked account is that human consciousness collapses away the, the possibilities into one. The human conscious collapses in. Another one is that um, is that the, 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 the universe branches, and in one universe you get a live cat, and in the universe you get a dead cat, and you branch with it, and you open the you open the box, and you see a live cat inside. The neat one with with this business of, of consciousness collapsing the wave function is, it's called Wigner's friend. Eugene Wigner had this idea. Okay, it's human consciousness collapses the wave function, and causes only one outcome. But then, how do you know that Wigner, when Wigner looks at the cat? His, his brain is 50% seeing a live cat and 50% seeing a dead cat. So he needs his friend to observe Wigner. So Wigner's friend observes Wigner and collapses Wigner's consciousness. And then Wigner's friend has to have another friend, so you have an infinite regression. So n none, of the, none of these really are, are very satisfactory. It shows you there's something, there's something a bit un unsatisfactory about the whole theory.